2024 is the golden age of running Facebook ads, and it's only going to get better from here. And every YouTuber who tells you Facebook ads is dead, any message that you hear out there about why it doesn't work anymore is completely false. These are people who have not figured out how to adjust for the modern time, or they are just making a clickbait video. This is not a clickbait video, and I'm going to explain this as best as I can. I'm not going to edit this. I'm going to get this video out because this is a very important message and I don't want to wait for my video editor to take a few days or even for me to take a few days. I'm just going to explain this as best as I can because if you are not running Facebook ads right now, there is a very good chance you're leaving a lot of money on the table because even if you have run them in the past and they did not work, things are a lot different now. So I'm going to talk about my first point here, which is in the targeting. Facebook's targeting used to work like this. If I was trying to sell my Facebook ads coaching program, I would have to make an audience to Grant Cardone's audience. I would have to make an ad set that targets Tony Robbins' audience, an ad set targeting people interested in marketing. Maybe I do a lookalike audience of people who have been to my website in the last 180 days, and I would make like 10 different ad sets, and I would spend two to $400 on each of them before I could turn off seven or eight of those ad sets and continue running ads to the remainder of them. And it basically cost about 500 to $2,000 before your ads were even done with the testing phase or like the learning phase because your pixel needed to be seasoned is something that we used to say. Facebook didn't know who your audience was yet and you had to test all of these different factors. And uh, even if your campaign was not going to work, it was really unfortunate because you'd probably spend more like three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 before you got conclusive evidence to cut your campaign. And nowadays, I would say that if you don't have, if you're trying to do a sales campaign and you spend somewhere between like two to $400, you should have a sale by then if it's going to work or not. Because right away from pretty much day one, Facebook is already putting your ad in front of the right people. If you do the concept of open targeting. If you're familiar with my channel, you've heard of this before, but what this is, is that when you go to select an interest, you don't select anything. You put age, gender, language, and location, and that's it. You say nothing for the interest-based targeting, no matter what you're selling. Every single industry, this is the correct targeting. It is extremely rare that anything ever beats this. I've I've tested this so many times. I test it still today. And at this point, it is basically meaningless because open targeting, putting nothing for the interest is almost always the best way to go. And people think, yeah, but then I'm just going to show an ad to the entire world. I'm going to show an ad to everyone uh, 21 to 45 in the US that's uh, you know, either gender and, and uh, you know, that that's not going to work. I don't want to show it to everyone. The way the targeting works now is two ways, mostly. One, how you write the caption. So you want to write a dead, simple, common language caption, okay? So for me, if I'm trying to teach people how to grow their Instagram, I'm not going to use language in my caption that says, I'm going to teach you how to blow up your Instagram because AI is going to read that and not really know exactly what I'm talking about, right? I'm going to say things like, I'm going to teach you how to grow your Instagram 10,000 followers in a month, things like that. I'm going to use very simple, plain language. And then this is what people prefer, honestly. They prefer the plain language rather than blow up. Like It it doesn't make sense. It doesn't mean anything, right? It's just kind of using fluff filler wording that seems like we're inflating the value of our offer, but really all we're doing is causing confusion. So the caption is part of the targeting. Just make sure it's freaking obvious, right? So a, a quick tip is almost all of your captions, if they can start like this, should start like this. Hey, entrepreneurs. Hey, Horse girls, I'm working with an equestrian company, so like, yeah, they, horse girls, hey, horse girls, that's the call out. Just call out the audience right at the beginning. Hey, uh, congrats on your engagement. Like if I ran ads for wedding photographers recently, like that's what, something you could say, congrats on your engagement. It still is a call out to your audience and Meta can read that caption and know exactly who you're trying to go for. That is one of the major things. The second thing is now that Facebook knows who your what your ad is, it's very clear what you're trying to sell just from your caption itself, it is going to listen to people's conversations and it is going to put 
your ad in front of people who in the last week have talked about buying your type of offer. And I love that. Uh, People have a privacy issue. I might as well if I wasn't an advertiser. Otherwise, I love it. I give me all the data. I I keep listening to their conversations. I I hope you keep listening even once the apps are deleted. So uh, if someone talks about, man, I really need to run Facebook ads, they're going to see my ad. Because Facebook already admitted they are listening to your conversations as, as long as you've got the apps and probably haven't put up some restrictions on doing so. It knows exactly who is trying to buy your stuff. There's also a Facebook pixel from so many companies on so many different websites now. So even though you can't access the data from other people's pixels, Facebook still knows this data. So it knows that if they are shopping for shoes, this other shoe company does have a pixel on their website. So it's going to show you those people, other shoe companies that knows who is trying to buy your offer already. And the most profitable advertising you can do is simply showing up in front of a client who is already ready to buy. And that is what you should be focused on because your job as an advertiser is not to convince people to desire what you're selling. And I explain this to be, to people because people will do uh, you know a free call with me to see if they want to get into one of my coaching programs, and they'll say, "What results can you guarantee me?" I say, "Nothing. I, I can't guarantee that we are going to sell anything, uh, especially if you haven't sold anything yet. Um, if you've made sales, then yeah, it, it's going to happen. All I can guarantee you is that your ads will be in front of your target customer at the right time and say the perfect thing." And if that doesn't work, if going in front of your ideal customer at the time that they are in the market and saying the best thing that we can to introduce your offer doesn't work, there's absolutely nothing that I can do. But I can guarantee you that we're going to do that. So if you know that sales happen, as long as your product gets in front of the right audience, then yeah, absolutely sales are going to happen. That's all you can do. And if you think your approach to marketing is to convince people to want your stuff and then show them why they should buy from you, you're going to think you're a really bad marketer. So to give you an example, the other day I talked to a CrossFit gym, right? CrossFit gym, like she's just looking for new members. And she's like telling me, yeah, we need to write an ad that says, you know, let's get in shape this uh, for the end of the year. Like, let's let's hit those goals. We're going to get you in the best shape of your life. And, um, you know, working out is key to a a healthy, long life and all of that stuff. And I said, I wish that this would work because you'd be rich if we could convince people to want to go to the gym from a Facebook ad alone. Just the one ad, hey, I know you weren't planning on getting in shape and you're content with where you're at right now, but hey, you can always be stronger and fitter. So come in and buy a gym membership. It doesn't work like that. You can get in front of people who are ready to buy a gym membership today. So yeah, let's definitely give yourself a chance. There are so many people ready to buy your offer today. And that is actually who you are trying to sell to. And what that means is this is a much smaller audience of people who are ready to buy today than people that we can potentially convince to buy. So we are going to run a very small budget on Facebook ads. It's typically what I recommend. Most companies, I recommend doing between $15 and $35 per campaign a day. It is very hard to exceed that without really cutting down on your ROAS. And I think if you're going to run ads, you should just be patient with it and not try to be like, we need as many sales this month as we can, even though the ROAS isn't going to be great, return on ad spend for those that don't know. But instead, give yourself a really healthy margin, keep your ads at a low budget, and your ads will focus on only ready to buy people. Because it is a very common misconception. If I don't give Facebook enough money, I'm going to get really bad results. It's actually the complete opposite. When you give Facebook $100 a day, it's going to say, okay, so what are we selling? We're selling uh, protein powder. All right, we, you 100 bucks a day? All right, I mean... Here's these people who are ready to buy protein powder, and then these people, they go to the gym, they haven't been actively looking for protein powder, but but they go to the gym, okay? So yeah, we'll show it to those people too, because you gave us a hundred bucks, and we gotta spend it. So like, we're gonna have to be less picky with who we show it to. If you only give them 20 bucks per day, 
They're extremely picky. They say, okay, we'll only show to the people who are ready to buy today. So I usually just say, just do a low budget and you can have different campaigns for all of your other products. But this is where the real ROAS 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 for, for product-based companies or you know and beyond for, for whatever is going to come from is you just saying my marketing efforts are to close people who are ready to buy right now. It's just to get in front of people who are ready to buy right now because that ad isn't complicated. That ad does not require very clever copywriting, does not require a perfect one minute video that leads them to a page with an hour training seminar because people don't even want to do this anymore, right? If you're trying to sell protein powder or let's say a gym membership to someone who like has no intent on doing a gym membership, you'd have to show them, hey, here's how to Here's my one hour video on how to get absolutely jacked working out less than four hours a week. And then you would spark their curiosity. They'd give you an hour of their time. And over that hour, you would slowly convince them that they should be working out and then sell them a gym membership. That was how it used to be in the past. And it was a pain in the ass. It took months to set up any ad campaign. Uh, because you'd have to set up the ad, you'd have to set up where the ads go to. And every time you tweak one thing, you're probably going to have to go back and tweak everything else. You know what? Let's change the price. You know what? Let's change the offer a little bit. Cool. Change it here, 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 here. You have this huge system that people used to have to make with webinars or free guides and long email systems or ascension funnels and all of these things that would take months to build out just for you to spend $3,000 for it to be a complete flop. And that doesn't happen anymore because all you need to do nowadays is say, what do I have to tell someone to buy my product that is already in the market to buy this type of product? And that is a lot more clear cut. So for instance, if I was trying to sell protein powder, the ad would probably say like this is uh, it's not whey protein powder. It's uh, you know collagen protein, which is better because of this. So that whey protein you almost bought, this is why you should buy this instead because today you are making the decision on what protein powder to buy. So all I need to do is tell you why you should buy this one instead of another one. And then I'm gonna tell you the price in the ad. Like it's 45 bucks or it's three, four, 100. And you can say that in the ad because all you're really trying to do is this customer is already at Walmart going to buy protein powder. They are sitting there in the aisle and they don't need much of a pitch. They just need to know why you over someone else and that's about it. And when we just focus on selling to low-hanging fruit, it makes everything easy. It makes our system simple. It makes our budget low. It makes our back end of the ad like probably pretty simple. We're probably just going to go right to the product page, right? It's not complicated. And this is really because Facebook's targeting is so dialed in now that it can find these niche people. And the other thing is all companies are benefiting right now because in the past, If you were trying to sell, let's say, badminton rackets, and you went into Facebook and you said, oh, what interest should I target? Badminton. And you would see, oh, it doesn't exist. You couldn't even run ads. It would would be very difficult. Nowadays, you don't even want to use an interest. You just want to say, hey, badminton players, looking to up your game, looking to get a racket that uh, actually lasts and hits the ball better, $49. You're going to tell them what it is. You're going to get in front of the right audience. You're going to tell them the price. You're going to tell them why you're different. And that's it. And then sales happen. And it really is as simple as that. And I've been applying this strategy to so many businesses. I'm going to list off just a bunch of random businesses that I'm working with right now. An immigration lawyer, a health insurance person, a medium who sells medium coaching calls. Dang it, my light went off. I'm working with a supplement company, I'm working with a jewelry company, I've got a musician, I have got um, multiple photographers, and I have got uh, someone who is doing in-person meetings, like there's there's self-development, like discovery sessions, and 
they're like $88 events and she's looking for 20 people to attend each one. And all of them follow the same structure where I just call it like that. Just spit it out. Just spit it out. What, what, what are you selling? Just, just spit it out. There's, there's no roundabout marketing anymore. It's just the direct to offer approach. Just literally tell them the price of what you're doing. And to do that, you, you got to give them a good deal, right? So, so give them a good deal. And I think, um, you know, as a side note, as far as your pricing goes, this whole charge what you're worth thing is total bullshit. Okay, don't buy into this because that's going to make you give yourself too high of a price. Your price is set by your supply and demand. So until you have more people trying to buy your stuff, don't increase your price. You can give a, a low deal and it's, I'm not charging what I'm worth. Well, you're not worth it because obviously you'd have more people trying to buy your stuff if you were worth it. So you're not worth it yet. All right. Give them a good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Until you just can't even give that deal anymore because you have so many people trying to buy from you. It is supply and demand that sets the price. It's always been like this. I hate all of these concepts of jack up your price. Just charge more. Just charge 5K. You're a brand new coach. Charge 5K. You suck right now. Why would you charge 5K? Charge 100 bucks. Charge 40 bucks. Like whatever they got. Just take whatever money they have and you got a sale and, and go from there. Okay. You're going to charge whatever you can, and then you're going to go up with your demand. So all you really need to do is focus on increasing your demand. Um, the other thing I want to say about Facebook ads to really make them profitable, if the sale is already going to happen because we're getting in front of people who are ready to buy something, then what is the name of the game for increasing profit profitability? It is selling them more than they wanted to buy, right? Which is not that hard. It's a lot easier to sell someone a second item that's already buying one item than to find a completely new customer to buy one item. So what I want to tell you uh, on top of this is package selling is the other key to running highly profitable Facebook ads with that jewelry company. All of their jewelry is all a cart on their website. You want to buy this ring, this necklace, this bracelet? And what that does is when someone wants to buy 10 things or isn't opposed to it at least, they would have to go click, add to cart, 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 and feel like a total shopaholic to do so. I said, we're just going to make a package of jewelry and, and just give them a slight discount. These rings, yeah, now all of a sudden it's a set of three. Now all of a sudden these, all of these necklaces that are kind of the same collection, you buy them as a set and you just make a bunch of packages. You still give the option to buy a la carte, but turn all of your products into packages, no matter what company you are. I also am running ads with a person who sells guitar tone presets. It's like uh, these things that you can upload on your computer so that you can make your guitar sound how you want. And he was selling all of these different $20 packs. And I said, all you need to do is put them all into something called the everything pack and just give a slight discount. And now that's basically what everyone buys. Everyone's just like, yeah, cool, the everything pack. Of course, like why would you sell, like do you want to sound like a rock person and a metal person and a blues person and a jazz person? Do you want to have every sound? Just sell every sound. Just give them a, a good deal on buying everything or a slightly better deal on buying everything. And you will be so surprised how many people do that because it's probably not even that much money and people would rather spend $500 on something that's a great deal than $50 on something that's not that good of a deal or it's that at least retail price because they're just perceiving it as they didn't get a deal 50 bucks and i pay seven bucks for shipping eh, it was a tough decision to make 500 bucks and i get 200 dollars worth of free stuff and free shipping take my money so direct to offer package selling that is the key to facebook ads and you don't need to worry about your targeting it's already done for you leave it blank keep your caption simple and you're going to do great now of course everything is um the execution is a whole other thing so if you want to get into my guided program what i do this i'm going to give you the price right now too what it is you get four coaching calls with me. They're 75 minutes over Zoom. We're going to create your ads together. We're going to click publish on your ads together. We are going to analyze the results. We're going to tweak your ads together. And we're going to record the entire call so that whenever you need to reference back to the training, you can. We are going to run your entire first campaign together. And by doing it with me, you will become an expert, if not master, at ads very quickly. All right, there, there is still so much I'm learning now. So even though I'm boiling, boiling it down, this process is simple. It is, 
But to do it really, really, really freaking well, I wouldn't be selling this if it wasn't even needed. But I've been doing this for over three and a half years where I have sold this exact program. Facebook ads for six years, but this exact program because it's all you need. You need four calls a month and you need unlimited messaging in between the calls. That is $750 for your first month. So if you want to absolutely kill it with your first Facebook ad campaign rather than burn a bunch of money to figure out what I could have told you, 750 book a call with me below for free to just talk about your business and I want to make sure that it's actually a good idea for you to even be running Facebook ads and that's what I got for you so be running Facebook ads if they went horrible in the past run them again this is the golden age and everyone out there is telling you different I'm calling a liar and I hope you tag them below see you in the next video